G'day guys, welcome back. I'm doing a little experiment today. I have got some high flow paints left over. I bought these probably about 18 months ago uh, when I was experimenting with pouring as we do. Um, and I didn't really know what they were so I bought them by mistake really and I've, I've got them and I thought I better try and use them up. So I'm going to try that today. Uh, they're very thin, they're almost like water. Uh, they're very highly pigmented though so you don't need a lot of paint with them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to thicken them up. I'm using PVA glue 50-50 uh, with Floetrol. So I've got 50 grams of glue and 50 grams of Floetrol and 10 grams of paint in each cup. So 100 grams of paint, uh, 100 grams of pouring medium to 20 grams of paint. And it's still a nice creamy consistency, very highly pigmented as I said. So the black looks a bit um, grey because the PVA is white. So I've got phthalo green, got some black, uh, what have we got here, cobalt blue, some turquoise, and I didn't have white but I had this metallic pearl so I'm using that for white. And I'm going to put three drops of treadmill silicone oil in each colour. I won't do the black or the white, I'll just do the three, those colours. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Little stir around with that. Okay, so I don't have white as I said, so this is going to be my white. So hopefully it will work okay. And put some blue. Just going to pour them in from up high so that they mix. And a little bit of green. Not too much green. I find green really takes over in a pour. So I've only made up half the amount of the green. So it will be interesting to see what this does. Some of the black. And a bit of white. Finish that off. Well, cream. So it's not reacting the same as it would normally in a cup by now. Normally I'd have a heap of cells in there. But we'll see what happens once we pour and torch. But if you do have these high flow paints at home and um, you think, oh, I've bought the wrong thing, what am I going to do with them? certainly have a go with thickening them, thickening them up with the PVA glue. Add a bit of flow troll to make it flow and not crack because the PVA is very thick. It tends to crack if it's too thick. A little bit more black. Finish that off. this out of the way, wipe my hands, okay and I'll do three flip cups, oh there's some cells on the top, it's looking promising, flip them over, using PVA is a, a cheaper way of pouring Floetrol can be quite expensive in, in Australia, so if you've got the high flow paints and you want to get rid of them, go out and get some PVA. It's only about $22, I think, at Bunnings for 4 litres. I did try one just before, you can see my mess, and I made it too thick. I had too much PVA and it didn't flow nicely at all, so I'm trying again. Alright, let's flip. It still feels thick. 
better than before. All right, too much paint, way too much paint. That's okay. Rather too much than too little. Oh, pretty colours. Right, torch. Pop the bubbles. PVA glue is notorious for pitting. As it dries, the, if there's any air bubbles in there, the, the, because the glue dries harder, the air bubbles kind of get caught in there and then you get these little pits. So you need to get rid of them. You need to get rid of your bubbles. Okay, so quite a few cells appearing. There's a bubble there. That's all right, I'll torch afterwards as well. After I've tilted, I'll torch again and get rid of any other little bubbles. All right, off to the side, off to the corner first. Now there's plenty, plenty of paint here, so I'm just going to swirl it off. Still don't want to go too fast, I don't want to break my cells. Probably still could be a little bit thick. Uh, maybe not, there's just a lot of paint on here. Turn it around so I can do the other side. I don't know, like, don't really like that. I'll see if I can get rid of that. I don't know if I can tilt that much off. Go this actually because I want to get rid of that first. While I've got a lot of paint on, I'll use that the weight of the paint to see if I can get that off the corner before I go to the other corner. So if there's a section that you don't like, while you've got heaps of paint, get rid of it. There it goes. Off the corner. Okay, bring the weight back to the middle. I'm trying to get back down there, moving my paint around. You can move the paint around quite a lot. If you've got a lot of paint, you can move it around without distorting your cells. Bring it back. Go for that corner. It's quite pretty really. Considering it's leftover paint and it's just a few colours that I had, I thought, oh, what can I do with blue, turquoise and green? And then I had black and white of course, but it's not bad really. Let's move those out of the way so that I can zoom in for you. I'm just going to lift this little card, clear the bottom as I always do, so I don't get paint sticking to my cake cooling rack. I bought these cake cooling racks online at like Kitchen Warehouse or something for $15 each. They're the big ones, the A3. I think they are 50 centimetres long. And then Target had a sale on them, $5. All right, torching again. Get rid of the air bubbles. No pitting. If you are using PVA and you do get the pits, <laughs> so to speak, uh, you can put a clear coat of um, like gloss varnish, gloss pouring medium or something like that over it and that'll fill in all your little holes. So I don't resin yet, but I do use a gloss pouring medium or a gloss varnish and I just pour it on and level it with a, a big, like a cake decorating spatula. And that, if you do have PVA pits, then um, that will fill them all in and make a nice smooth surface for you. Just going over this. Again, don't want to go over it too much. It melts the paint and it starts making them a bit wiggly, so to speak. Well, I don't mind that at all, really. Considering it's just leftover paint and I quite like the colours. So considering that's 20 grams of paint, you use a lot less in it of it than you do if you were using the Global Impastos. For 100 grams of medium, I would be using 
uh, about 35 grams of paint. So I'm only using 20 in this, and so it is less. Okay, I'll take you in for a close-up. So have a go if you've got this high flow paints and you don't know what to do with them, have a go. No point wasting them. I'm just trying to get my camera to bend down a bit. Sorry. It's on a tripod, it's not the easiest thing to move. Alright, that'll do. You get the general idea. So pretty happy with that. We've got cells. It's a nice creamy consistency. So um, yeah, have a go. Join us on the Australian Acrylic Pouring Group. If you've got this high flow paint, give it a go. Get yourself down to Bunnings, get some PVA, get some Floetrol, mix it up 50-50. Add a bit of high flow. Give it a really good shake though. It's got a little ball in it to um, mix the, the pigments up properly. And have a go. Put it up on the page. I'd love to see your work. So that's it for now. I will see you for the next pour. Bye for now.